Okay, now we're also recording for Mailbag. Uh, I hope you can hear me. And uh, let's see, is it time? Is it officially time? It is officially exactly time. All right, well, you'll see me in a second. I'm on my way upstairs now. But uh, I guess I have to start by telling you we're not going to do a real Mailbag today because somebody didn't make it to the post office. Now, I'm not, I'm not naming any names. I don't want anybody to feel ashamed of themselves. But, uh, but somebody who usually has to go to the post office uh, didn't. So that's, um, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I mean, that person would be sorry if they were here, but they're definitely not. So, uh, okay, here, that's a fun way to do it. We'll put that right there for the tissue pit. I guess that's an all right angle, maybe, possibly, we'll see. Uh, I guess it would help, though, if I got some tissue and stuff. Uh, now, I promised everybody that I would, you know, like, ramble like we do for mailbag, but I don't I don't actually have any rambles ready to go. Also, I'm seeing on the TV that camera's all crooked. Let's see here. Hang on. <laughs> Is there a reason this camera just suddenly decides to stop working for me right when I need it the most? Is it working for anybody else? What is happening? Well, it looks like it's working fine for you guys. I mean, you're only all the way around the world. That's where you would expect it to work, not here in the house five feet from me. Well, whatever. I can't. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. That's weird. Very weird. Still nothing, huh? Well, I th really thought I was starting to like this phone. Um, all right, let me take a look at Discord. And, okay, yes, ramble about the new mom cat. Tell everyone else her name. Yes, okay, good. Well, let's start there while I'm putting this stuff together. And, uh, oh, yeah, Teaspoon should probably be here, too. I'll go get him in just a minute. Um, all right, well, uh, I guess the most important thing to talk to people about that are tuning in for Mailbag. Um, also, let me see if I can connect to that camera up there and see how we're looking. Um, the most important thing, of course, we've got a new mom cat. I'm sure you know. I'm sure you've seen her. She's adorable. And I can tell you that DJ has named her Callie. Um, she's spelling it C-A-L-L-I-E, Callie. Uh, and uh, let's see. We can talk more about her in just a second. I'm just trying to do a few too many things at once here. <laughs> what else is new? Come on, come on, come on. Phone? What are you doing? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um. <laughs> well, oh, oh, now I get it. Okay, my fault. I was uh, I was out last night and I switched the way it worked so I could get it better over the VPN. Aha. Everything. Watch this, it'll come right up. Hey, eh, 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 eh. you don't have to do that. Yeah, it did. It came right up. We're good now. Okay, that was all me. Uh, technology. You know, uh, it's funny. Even if you work in technology your entire life, you get old and you can't understand it anymore. That's just the way things are. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I think that's about as good as it gets there. Well, I guess, uh, what else can I tell you about Callie? Uh, if you haven't noticed yet, she's a bob tail. Uh, you know, she's got a very short stub of a tail. And it's really impossible to say whether that is, I don't, I mean, somebody who knows these things probably could tell if that's genetic or not because they would be experienced with it. But we've only had one other cat that had a sort of a docked tail. And I, I'm pretty sure that one was not genetic. I don't know. 
Anyway, that's not worth getting into. The fact is that she seems perfectly happy, and she's so cute with it, and she doesn't mind anybody touching it or playing with it, uh, so it's not like it's in any way sensitive for her. Um, and she wags it around like a dog. It's, you know, what a, I don't know, it's just adorable. So I'm totally in love with her, of course, just like I am with every mom cat that comes in. And uh, let's see, I don't think I've got any fun anecdotes to share yet, though. Uh, you know, when I picked her up from Dawes, I went to the wrong place, and it delayed me by a half an hour picking her up uh, because I'm just, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I got to the wrong place, and then I checked my message and saw, hey, you're going to the wrong place. I'm like, oh, no, I'm a half an hour from where I'm supposed to be. Uh, so it took me a little extra time to get her, and then when I did get her, um, I put her right in the carrier, brought her to the car. She meowed at me a couple of times. She likes to talk a little, but she's not like a, I don't think she's just going to be a talker like some cats are, but she, she'll talk to you a little bit. And uh, after that, though, she just settled down, laying on her side all the way home, real quiet, real calm, not any problem at all. Uh, but she, you can tell how uncomfortably pregnant she is because... She kept shifting from one side to the other to try to get comfy on the way home. So we've been trying to make her room comfy for her the same way, but she doesn't, uh, you know, like a lot of mom cats, she doesn't seem like she particularly cares for a big soft bed um, yet. Maybe she'll change her mind, but she does, uh, you know, seem to like looking out the window and just sort of sleeping on the rug. Um, I meant to bring her a little something that she can sit on that would be more like the hardwood floor, like cold and hard, because a lot of mom cats like that for some reason. I've never been able to understand. Um, I hope this isn't too crinkly and over my voice. Uh, I know it's going to be going on in the background. Anyway, um, yeah, so I, I'm going to bring her something like that one. We'll see if she likes it. The rug that's in there is a little bigger than the one that we usually use, so it's covering a little bit more of the hardwood floor, so not as much access to that. We'll make up for it. We'll give her a little personal hardwood floor there. Or actually marble, I think, is what I got. So, if I can find it. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, I've got a hardwood floor I can give her, too. Yeah, we can do both. All right. Why not both? We'll see if she likes that. Um, okay, what's news elsewhere? Well, you can see Till here is having a good time with her kittens. She's a big old kitten now herself. And, uh, oh, uh, I guess I should mention health stuff because we've got her, uh, she's just doing great. Like everybody's doing great. There's no complaints from me anymore. You know, we went through, uh, I'd say a long struggle with, uh, diarrhea and bad poops and, uh, all kinds of stuff from our kittens for a little while, but things are finally all sort of stabilizing. Um, and, uh, Till hasn't had a bad poop in a while. We've got her on a special GI diet, but I'm about to tempt fate by trying to switch her back to the regular diet and see if she's going to be okay if we just continue to limit the food the same way. Because instead of giving her free access to the food like we normally would, uh, we've been trying to sort of uh, restrict it a little bit in the hopes that that might also be part of the problem. Because if they just eat too much, like they, you know, a lot of cats will do, it's going to come out one way or the other and not be as pretty. Um, so. And that's a good technique, I think, to try to, you know, if you've got a mom cat that's just, uh, after she's done, you know, with her nursing and stuff, we don't, when she's nursing, that's the number one thing is to get calories in her seat. No matter what else is going on, like if they're having bad poops or something, uh, you got to find some other way to just cope until uh, she's ready, you know, but still very ready. Her kittens are long done with her and uh, she's doing great, so I'm happy about that. Uh, looking around, we still need all the same adopters, the kittens that are here, uh, as far as I know. I should, I should make sure that DJ is keeping an eye on those uh, incoming apps, if there are any, but I'm sure she is, and I also think that she uh, changed the way that they go now so that she's not even in the loop. So, I'll verify that, though, just to be sure. So, that's uh, the two mom cats. Till and Serenity, technically a mom cat, uh, really more of a kitten. And then uh, Drizzle and Sprout. Uh, Sprout being right here in front of me. And Drizzle being, I think, actually right next to her. Very. No, that's Squall. Didn't see the white from here. So, all right. Well, not here at the moment, but, oh, I see they're playing over in that room. 
even though I've got all the fun in here. That just feels rude. Kittens. Kittens. Who fun's in here? Guess I don't get to dictate what is fun. But as soon as I'm done with this tissue, I am going to go upstairs and get the soccer ball, which has been on the charger and uh, hopefully charged. Also, it takes a special app to drive it, which uh, hopefully is going to work on my phone. We'll find out. Maybe I should look at chat and see if anybody else has anything in particular I was supposed to discuss. <laughs> Let's just see here. All right. Everybody's trying to guess what the theme is for Cali. Uh, yeah, so, um, let's see, uh, I was going to say something about, well, so she's, she's, uh, she's super pregnant, Callie is up there, and like you can tell by looking that she's, you know, very big, but, um, I can already feel the kittens, like, you know, lumps in her, um, which means, you know, that's something, they go through a period, I think, where you can't really feel them for a while. And then, uh, then they typically, you know, at the very end, you can start to really feel them very well. Um, so I think that means that we are pretty close, uh, along with the other signs. And if you haven't heard, I also, I don't think this is her first go-round uh, having kittens, which is good in my, I mean, it's not, obviously, we don't want cats out there having kittens. That's one of the reasons we do what we do is to try to sort of um, do our own sort of TNR. But, uh, well, except for the R and the, I don't know, T. All right, our own N. This isn't working. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, anyway, you know, we don't, we don't want that. But uh, I, I like the fact that she's had kittens before um, for us now that she is here because it probably means that things are going to go a little bit easier for her having been down this road already uh, at least once. And judging from her apparent age which again, we don't really know. Um, my guess is that she's probably only done it once or twice because she's pretty young, not much more than a kitten. And uh, she's got a very tiny head too. So I think once she has her kitten, she's gonna turn out to be a very small cat. Uh, not like Till who, um, you know, when she, even when she was pregnant, I was saying, oh yeah, you can tell just by looking like she's got a giant head. Um, and it's gonna be a big cat and she is a big cat, so. No, you know what? I don't normally tell anybody the shelter names until you know they're they're well their new names are well established and they're ready to leave. Uh, so I'm going to keep that one a secret, but I will tell you uh, just to I don't know uh, tease a little bit. And I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you heard me talking about it yesterday, our new mom Callie had uh, definitely the most standout shelter name we've ever had, um, and something that you just I mean. Yeah, you could guess names all day long. It's just not something that would ever be guessable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty funny. So someday, but I can tell you, uh, Till's name was Susie. I saw somebody asking just the other day if we ever knew what Till's shelter name was. Or it's not even shelter name for most of these cats. It's more like transport name because they just, you know, the minute they get to the shelter, uh, Dawes is like, hey, we can take that one. And then uh, they get right on the transport. But they have to have they have to have a name to refer to them and to put on the papers. So the shelter people always make something up. Um, sometimes it's very creative. Sometimes it's very literal. Like while I was there picking her up, uh, somebody had paperwork for a puppy. Uh, I don't mean literal that way. I mean obvious maybe or on the nose. Uh, they, had, they had paperwork for a puppy named uh, Turkey. So, I mean, you know where that came from, I guess. But he looked like he was probably a good five, six months old. So it's not like he was born on Thanksgiving. Um, I came up here for something. Oh, the soccer balls. Yeah. I'm acting like you guys can see what I'm doing. I also, I did look at chat and I saw everybody asking, like, what are the glasses I've been wearing around? So you guys have seen me before. I don't, I, we, I don't want to make this about tech. I do that way too much and it's not a tech show. But I'm a pretty technical guy. So I think... Um, so, uh, 
It is a pair of AR goggles, like people have speculated it may be. And um, I was just sort of trialing them and a couple others too to see if any of them were good, but it turns out that I think this generation of stuff is surprisingly usable. Uh, if you're not like a super enthusiast like I am, then I would say take a pass on it. But if you are, uh, it's never been a better time to get something like that for yourself. Um, and having checked out a few of them, it's the, uh, the brand, the one that I'm using right now is, well, I'm not even going to say because they're all, I, like I said, I tried a few, they all have issues, but do your own research, make your own decision if you're going to do it. And otherwise, uh, yeah, that's it. So if you want to know when I'm wearing them, I'm probably just watching YouTube. Like I did with my old, uh, uh DJ calls it my Borg outfit where I had the little eyepiece, but this is a huge improvement. Okay, let's see if this thing is going to work for us now that we are here. Uh, sign in? You must be kidding me. There we go, good. It let's me skip it, thank goodness. There we go, kids. You about ready for this? You know. What is it, huh? Okay. Let's try that. Oh, they're little. They're getting a little big for the tiny soccer ball, aren't they? Oh. I can't, uh, if I was wearing my goggles, I could be doing this and looking at Discord at the same time, but I took them off. Uh, why am I saying I took them off? You're looking at me. Okay, hang on here, but I can switch over here and just see what's going on in the Discord. Mr. H, I don't know if it was echoey when I was talking to you guys, but this stuff charges in a closet in my office, so that's why it was echoey, if it was. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you guys want to know where she came from? I did not look at the paperwork, so uh, I don't know. What's stopping me from getting up and going to look at it right now, though? I guess I could. I think there, there used to be a way to set this thing to sort of play by itself if you didn't want to have to take care of it. I wonder if I can find that thing if it's still a setting. I'm just imagining it. I think I am just imagining it because if it's still here, I don't see it. I think that was part of the app that was specifically for running these things, which I don't think they, they really have anymore. I don't know. I can take a look later. Forget it. Um, I do have the bigger thing. Now, this company, Sphero, was doing such great stuff. I don't know if they still are. The, the way their app is working right now makes me think they're probably not anymore, and that's sad. But um, they were doing such great things, I really supported them by buying uh, basically all their stuff as it came out. And uh, the vast majority of it I bought with like a real plan to do some fun stuff with it. Therefore, it's sitting in a box, just like always. Uh, but um, let's see. I was going to check her paperwork first. I'm like, why did I go out here? Oh, I might lose you guys on the mic. This is weird. Hang on, because I'm in the garage now. Uh, I think I left her papers out here, though. In the car? Nope, not in the car. Oh, goodness. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find them now for you guys, because I put them in a stack of papers to go through. I'm not going to do that while I'm trying to talk to you. That's too much, right? I think I did. That must have been what I did. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, right here. 
No, not right here. That's not it. That's not it at all. Something else important, though. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, got it now. Okay, hang on. Oh, they sent like a whole sheet about her. It says... Uh, I better check chat and see if you guys could hear me. So first off, they're definitely guessing on her age. Oh, teaspoon too. Wow. Okay, guys. Thanks, though. Okay, good. Um, so let's go get teaspoon. Uh, well, I'm talking to you, but when I go in the room, I'm going to be quiet because DJ's sleepy. Uh, hang on. Oh. Drop the paper. Okay, hang on. All right, I'm back with Teaspoon. Hey, don't get back there. Oh no, are you in there? Is there somebody in these drawers now? They are really desperate to get that food out. Okay, good. Okay. All right, I hope everything's... Oh, still wrong. Jeez, every, time, every time I step on something, I think it's going to be a cat. Whew, okay. Thank goodness it rarely is. All right, um, let's see. It says that she's uh, born exactly a year ago from the day she arrived. So that means they're guessing she's a year old. It says that she is bold, outgoing, energetic. That's all, really. It just says they don't know anything about whether she gets along with cats or dogs. And she came from Georgia. So there we go. That answers the question. And she had dewormer and a flea treatment. I see that. Snap test, as always, rabies tag. Okay, cool. That's everything we know now. Now you know everything I know except uh, possibly her name. I mean, her, you know, shelter name. We'll get to someday. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, buddy, what are you thinking, huh? Tabby, Mom, Jen, Jen, my illusions are shattered. Mr. A has piles of paper just like everyone else. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, I just do this thing where I, I put a bunch of paper in a stack and then like theoretically once a month I'll go through it and file it or throw it away. Uh, in this case, I, uh, I just took everything that was in my car and uh, put it in a bag because I was in a hurry. So that happens. All right, let's see if the bigger ball is something that the kittens will go for. That's right in here in the bathroom, just like the last one. Um, let me plug this one in before I walk away, though. That way, next time we want it, it will have a charge. Bingo. Okay, we don't use this one very often. I think I even had like a, a little rubber... Uh, wrapper that you could put around it so that it would grip better, but that I'm not going to find right now. I'm not, even though I just think I, I know where it is, but I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go look. Okay. Let's see now. Okay. Hey, buddy. I don't know. Oh, do I have to do something to tell this thing that now I want it to work for me? Did I wait too long? Let's just see. <laughs> well, I see something, I guess. Oh, hey, look at that. All right. This one has a little LED, like, uh, you know, display on it. It's like only 8x8 eight eight or something, but it's cute. What is on it, though? Oh, that's just reflections. Good, okay. But I haven't programmed it to do anything uh, at all. We're just going to drive it around a little. Oh, but you can make it colors. Oh, that's fun. Whoa. Hmm. 
Got some features I didn't know. All right, there we go. Oh, okay, you get it then, buddy. <laughs> That's fun. It's a little more capable than the small one. These guys, um, they, they had like a real, have had, I don't know, a real emphasis on STEM and education. And, um, you know, they don't open the designs of their robots as far as I know, but they do uh, tend to have nice open SDKs and documentation about how to connect everything up. And it's just fun for hacking on that. I still think the devices are pretty nice. Of course, they came from a time when there was a lot less of this kind of thing available, so I don't know. Is nobody going to come after it, though? You guys are just going to watch? Do I have to slow down a little bit and give you a chance? Oh, where did it go? Give me a chance. Feels like it got stuck. Oh, what did I run into? Let's see. Nobody, huh? Oh, oh, that was a leap. Wow. <laughs> like that uh, gif of the fox jumping into the snow head first. That was the same move. If I knew anything about sports, there would probably be some great soccer jokes to make here about these players just laying on the field and holding the ball. <laughs> but I don't, so you're going to have to write your own. They um, made a limited time version of a, almost the same bot. It's actually more like the soccer ball except bigger. Uh, that's a BB-8 and even has the little head that sits on top, but the head's just held on magnetically. I've tried it with the cats. It just comes off instantly. Um, even without the cats, sometimes it just flies off. It's a really cool idea, uh, but not, not really especially useful. I keep thinking I should find somebody that would really have fun with it, but I think that about so many things. <laughs> I almost just like nuzzled up to him there. What's happening over on the Discord here? Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, so um, these are made by um, Spiro, and there's the one that's got the soccer balls, the mini, and it used to be you could find them on sale regularly for like 30 bucks on Amazon ish. And if, you know, again, if you're sort of like into that gadgety stuff, it's not, it's, it's worth it for that. And then the big one is called a Bolt. This one, I think, is called a Bolt. Uh, but Spiro, S-P-H-E-R-O, they've got a whole bunch of stuff. Had a whole bunch of stuff? 
I have no idea. Hi, oh, he's just holding that. That's cute with his little paw on it. Oh, such a cutie. What do you think, buddy? What do you think, little teaspoon? Teaspoon's doing great, by the way. I know we've all seen him sneaking a bit of the faculty, uh, faculty and kitten food that he's not supposed to have the last few days. I've seen him doing it, and I've even uh, sort of turned a blind eye when he gets into the dry food, the crunch time that we tend to do upstairs in the spa, uh, you know, like sort of the last thing before we go to bed. So uh, I've seen him get into all that, but I do check his colon, uh, you know, just by sort of feeling his sides. <laughs> Uh, that sounded a lot worse. Um, uh, I do check it every uh, every day, though, to see if he's, you know, continuing to do okay and not get all backed up like he had been. And he is. He's doing great. So no worries on that front for him. Um, and then he's just waiting, of course, on his surgery coming up in February. I think that's February. The only other thing I can think of that's on the calendar are the pending adoptions for farthing and doubloons, which I think is the ninth. Uh, I keep saying that, so I hope that's right. Uh, I can always check my calendar. And the pending adoptions for Squall and Wellingtons, which I believe are the 30th. Uh, I'm pleased to say, though, that they have continued to be just as soft and uh, squeezable. So I think they're just going to keep that for a long time. I would have felt pretty bad if they were here and, uh, I don't know, if the, if the adopter uh, was going to miss sort of that phase of their lives, but I don't think that's going to be the case at all. Um, let's see. Drizzle continues to play fetch. Last night she, was, I just, she just kept bringing me her toys over and over and over, so I would throw them. And uh, she's really into that. Let's see. Oh, I see a good question about why can't people abroad adopt kittens because of the transport costs. Um, it's a fair question that I should address. Uh, that's from Tiger PX on the uh, on the Discord. First off, I wouldn't say that that's a universal rule because I did check with Dawes um, and they were willing to consider applications from Canada if that turned out to be something that people really, you know, were serious about doing. But I think I would only be, really feel comfortable about that if, um, if we knew that, you know, it was close, like... Um, some of these international flights like overseas can be a big deal by themselves a lot and no as far as i know no international flights will let you bring the cat along with you in the cabin of the airplane you have to have them uh, actually usually brought by a whole other service but otherwise um, you know in the in the nice you know it says cargo it's not like it used to be where you know you can't even be in there uh, but um, but in cargo and not with you. Um, and uh, if there's any, you know, like overseas international flights that allow that, I'm not aware of it. So that's a problem, uh, in my opinion. We always demand that people that are going to fly their kittens home have it in the cabin with them, uh, you know, when they adopt domestically, which has never been a problem. Um, okay, good. I just smelled something poopy and I was hoping it wasn't in the pool here. Uh, but it's not. It's happening over there right now. So uh, that was the one reason, is the, the long flight and the fact that they can't be in the cabin with a person that they know is problematic. Um, you know, I wouldn't say that I, I feel like that is necessarily an insurmountable thing, but it's something I would really prefer to avoid because uh, even though they, just, they do it once, you know, and then they're in a much better life. So that's how I would justify it, but I would hope we wouldn't have to. Um, and then the other thing is... I. I would really, especially for kittens, hate to see them have to spend any time in a quarantine. A lot of countries, um, when you bring cats in, will require you to quarantine them for, you know, a couple of weeks. Um, but a lot of countries will not require you to quarantine them if you can show proper paperwork. Um, that they've been checked out by a vet within a certain number of days before you bring them over. 
and they've had their rabies shots and all that kind of stuff, which we can do. So, you know, if anybody were to adopt from, uh, and I haven't checked lately, but if Canada's rule is still like if you have the rabies paperwork and the U.S. Department of Agriculture paperwork, then you can, and, uh, you know, uh, which it, it includes a vet having checked them out recently, um, then I think it's still the rule that you can bring them in uh, with no quarantine. So if, if that is the case, I would feel perfectly comfortable with somebody doing that, especially if they're driving, especially since we are so close to Canada here. Um, I don't see any trouble with that. But pretty much anywhere else would probably be a different level of consideration, if that makes sense. Um, of course, uh, I don't make those decisions alone, but uh, those are the sorts of things that, that are decisions that we sort of participate in. So I think if anybody wanted to do more than that, they would have to be pretty serious about it, uh, and then we'd have to have some discussion, you know? But uh, I'm glad you asked, because, um, you know, uh, I think I understand a lot of reasons why it, it may be a little harder to get kittens adopted right now than uh, we've historically seen. Uh, I don't think all of those reasons have anything to do with Kitten Academy. Um, you know, I'll allow that maybe some of them do. <laughs> but uh, but um, I, I, I'm told anyway that that's sort of the case all over, uh, where um, you know a lot of shelters are having those sorts of issues right now. And, uh, you know, maybe to one degree or another, you know, uh, some places also, they have other ways of dealing with that, that in some cases are things that we, we just aren't willing to consider. Um, one thing that comes up so often from really well-meaning people um, that, you know, I, I think it's a sweet thing to do, but not here, <laughs> is uh, people that offer to help pay for the adoption. You know, we'll get people all the time that are like, um, you know, can I help get this kitten adopted by just paying their adoption fee and then uh, someone can come and adopt them for free? Uh, and I know that, that people that are saying that really mean the best and are wonderful, thoughtful, caring people. Um, but that's something that we just we couldn't really allow because uh, cats cost a lot. And if that is going to be the thing that makes the difference between adopting a cat and not adopting a cat, uh, I feel like maybe you should come down on the side of not, you know, um, because the adoption fee, granted, in Connecticut, it's, it's a little bit more than we were, that's not significantly more than we were used to in Illinois, but everything here is a little more expensive. Um, but that, even so, that adoption fee, which I believe Dawes is $200 for a kitten, they, they set that, they get that. It has nothing to do with us. Um, I, I feel like that $200 is not even a dent in what a cat that you are committed to could potentially cost, you know? And they're not going to cost that all the time, uh, you know, but especially as they start to age and have uh, health concerns um, or, you know, God forbid, something unexpected comes up. Uh, which it always does eventually, uh, those those expenses can be quite a lot more. So, yeah, that's our reasoning anyway, be, behind not, you know, ever uh, allowing folks to do that. And I feel like it's, I feel like it's pretty solid. Like, I, I don't feel like I really have to even have much wiggle room on that particular topic. Um, yeah, that's just my take on it, though. All right. Well, I hope that I've rambled. Wow, I rambled a lot longer than I thought, guys. I don't, I don't understand how I can just talk for 40 minutes. Uh, I do really enjoy talking to you, though. I guess that's it. <laughs> you have an entire pit full of tissue to play with, and you're playing with a tiny piece of cellophane from a candy wrapper? What? We haven't even had wrapped candy around here in a while. Oh, it looks like it's written in Tamil. No, no, it's not. Wait, I'm just blind. What does this say, though? 
Oh. Oh, it's, uh, it's probably a candy from our, wow, that's weird. Um, the alumni have, are wonderful and sent us these, uh, these snack boxes that have uh, come every month and have like candy and chips uh, from different countries every month. And that is uh, a couple pieces of candy from the French box that came a few months ago, and I haven't eaten one of those, and neither is DJ, in quite a while. So I wonder how long they've had that and where it was all this time. <laughs> Very strange. Cute, though. Well, I think we're going to leave the tea. Oh, look at that. Teaspoon in the tissue pit. Wow. He's such a cute boy. All right. Well, I'm going to put this away. Um, I'm going to turn off the mic. I'm probably even going to end the archive here. Thank you guys so much for being understanding. Oh, I should say, if you're still hanging on after 40 minutes, um, uh, I am really sorry that I, I didn't manage to pick up the mail and have the real mailbag this weekend. We'll do it next weekend. I'm not going to try to fit it in, you know, sometime during the week. We'll just do it at the regular time next weekend and see how it goes from there. Uh, I had one other thing I wanted to say about it, but I forget what it was. Um, oh, I just I just wanted to say something about how I really do, you know, I feel horrible when this stuff happens. Um, I know people put so much thought and effort into sending wonderful things for these kittens, and uh, I feel like I really let you down when I don't manage to do mailbag on time. Um, I, I just, I hope I'm the only one that has to feel that way, though. I, I would really hate it if somebody who sent something was, uh, you know, feeling justifiably, I think, you know, a little upset that they didn't get to see it opened when they expected at Kitten Academy. Um, I can understand that. And I just, I would just ask if anybody does... Um, you know, feel like I've, uh, I don't want to say that I've slighted them. You know, it sounds like I'm there. I'm, I'm, I'm only asking you to write in if you're like super offended and I'm not, I just, it's a slight bit. Like if you were like, oh man, uh, I really wish you'd opened it. Um, I think it, it couldn't hurt for you at least to let me know. Uh, and at the, at the very least, um, you know, if people are feeling that way, then I know more about it and maybe you know my brain will be able to do a better job uh maybe not and i just know about it <laughs> either way i don't feel like that should be i don't feel like anybody should have any sort of uh you know negative uh feeling associated with kitten academy and not let me know that's all just uh if you ever did for any reason i would want to know about that so that i could at least potentially do something about it. If I don't even know about it, then those things can just fester forever, and I, I have no way of, of knowing. So, um, yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm going to put this away. Uh, thanks, everybody, for being so understanding, and uh, okay, well, well, I'll see you next time, and I'm still planning on trying to do a close-up tomorrow, uh, you know, right after my workout, which I still have to get to today, by the way. Uh, that's what I'm going to do next. So we'll see if I can do that or not. And uh, we'll see how long this mom cat's got. I really uh, feel like she could deliver any day. Oh, and I wanted to say, I know I, I probably interrupted myself earlier, and I'm sure it's frustrating to everybody, but I was saying she's so full of kittens. Uh, I can feel the little kitten lumps. I feel like it's going to be soon. I know I said all that. And then people are always asking, like, how many? It's really hard for me to tell by feeling, especially since so far we just met. She, she won't really just let me sit there and kind of feel everything. And I don't want to push my luck, but I'm guessing from her size and shape, it's it's probably four. Um, I I doubt five, but um, I could be wrong. Yeah. So that's my guess anyway. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay. Now I'm I'm really gonna go. Thanks everybody. <laughs>